All right, so let's get started with the introduction to kinesiology tape um, presentation. The way that I've structured this course is that I will first be going over the presentation with an audio with, with the PowerPoints, and then next will be the PowerPoints alone. And the reason that I did that is so that you can um, go back to the PowerPoints as a reference in the future if you need to without having to go through this full presentation. So the next um, thing you'll come to after this presentation is the PowerPoint slides that we just went over by themselves without the audio included. All right, so to give you a little bit of info about my background and why you're here listening to me today, um, I am a doctor of chiropractic. I received my chiropractic degree from Palmer College of Chiropractic, the Florida campus. Before I went to chiropractic school, I received first a bachelor's degree in veterinary science with a minor in equine science from the University of Arizona in Tucson, and then I stayed on there to receive a master of science degree in veterinary pathobiology. I have um, some certifications. I'm a certified kinesio tape practitioner, also certified veterinary chiropractitioner. Um, and I also have publications in the Journal of Veterinary Science and Microbiology. And I have presented my personal research at the International Conference of Laminitis and Diseases of the Hoof, as well as the Conference of Animal Disease Workers. So let's hop into what kinesiology tape is. I know that some of you taking this course have had some previous experience with kinesiology tape and some of you have probably never um, handled it at all. So kinesiology tape is basically just a stretchy athletic tape that sticks directly to the skin in people, to the, in animals it's gonna stick directly to the hair and it, its purpose is to improve function. So the original kinesiology tape, which is called kinesio tape, was developed by Dr. Kenzo Case, who is a chiropractor in Japan, and it was developed in the 1970s. Dr. Case was looking for a prescription that he could send home with patients to help them in between visits. He began experimenting with already existing tapes and was not getting the results that he wanted, so it led to the development of kinesio tape. So what was different about the tape Dr. Case developed? Basically, it was different than other athletic tapes on the market in that it stretches, it stretches along the longitudinal axis, so other tapes were not stretchy like that. It also contains no medications, and it does not restrict motion. That was the biggest difference, is that the other athletic tapes on the market were all restricting motion. This tape is also breathable and hypoallergenic. Dr. Case's kinesio tape quickly became popular with sports teams in Japan. Today you can see it used in all sports in the US, Europe, and Asia, as well as other countries. Today this tape is also commonly used in medical settings to help with conditions such as back pain, shoulder pain, tennis elbow, neck pain, knee instability, and many other conditions that you may find. In the past 10 years, practitioners have started using the tape on animals, such as myself. I was so impressed with how the tape worked on people that I decided to start using it on my animal clients and that led to the development of the techniques that you're going to learn in this course. So now we're going to go over the benefits of the tape. And the first benefit, which is a really big one, is going to be pain reduction. Kinesiology tape provides a quick and natural reduction in the pain sensation. And we're going to explain how this happens in a little bit. The second benefit is going to be improved lymphatic and blood circulation. This tape can actually help reduce inflammation and improve the circulation. The third benefit is that it supports muscles and joints. This tape can add support to injured muscles and joints to reduce further in injury and improve function. Another neat benefit of kinesiology tape is, in, is increased proprioception. Now proprioception is the body's ability to sense where its parts are in space. For example, if a person was blindfolded, they could still touch their nose or point to where their foot is without actually being able to see it. That is your proprioception, just knowing where it is. So let's explain now how all this stuff works. So the first one that we're going to explain is the pain reduction. So basically kinesiology tape is able to reduce pain by stimulating the nerve endings called the mechanoreceptors, which are found all over the body. And the more re mechanoreceptors that are stimulated, the less pain receptors, which are called your nociceptors, that can fire. So basically it naturally reduces the pain by blocking the nociceptors. 
Here is a diagram that demonstrates how that happens. And as you can see, the mechanoreceptive afferent input, which is what happens when the tape is worn and as it's moving, as the person's moving or the animal's moving wearing the tape, they're stimulating these mechanoreceptors. It's going to cause an inhibition of the nociceptive afferent input, which is your pain receptors. All right, so now let's talk about how it improves lymph and blood flow. So basically, when the tape is on the skin or on the hair, it's going to mechanically decompress the skin and the soft tissue. So you can look at this diagram below. The first one on the left shows the skin without any tape on it, and the one on the right shows the skin with tape. You can see how that tape has a lifting effect, which is going to lead to increased lymph and blood flow, which is going to decrease inflammation. Kinesiology tape is going to be able to support muscles and joints by being placed around or over a specific muscle to support it during movement or by stabilizing unstable joints. You're going to see that the support tapings that you're going to learn are going to have a little more stretch applied to the tape. And the reason for this is that the more stretch that you apply, the more of a mechanical support the tape will have. So now how does the tape increase the proprioception? Well, movement with the tape on is going to stimulate the proprioceptive nerves. And these nerves contribute to the brain sense of where the body parts are in space during movement. And input can be altered due to injuries and joint misalignments. And when you have alteration of these proprioceptive input, that's when it leads to injury, especially in athletes that are competing at high levels. So it's really important that we can use this tape to actually do some neuromuscular re-education and have proper proprioceptive input coming in to decrease the chance of injuries. Alright, so now that you know how the tape works, we're going to talk about how to properly cut it. There's basically going to be four different ways that you can go about cutting the tape. The first is going to be the I cut, the second will be the X, the third is the Y, and the fourth is the fan cut. And basically you can see that the names are pretty self-explanatory. The cuts of tape look like an I, X, Y, and fan. So the eye cut is going to be one of the more often cuts that you're going to be using and the techniques that you'll be learning in this course. And the eye cut can do everything from support, to reduce pain, increase proprioception, increase meridian in energy flow, and it can also be used as an anchor. The X cut is going to be primarily used for support, increased proprioception, and decreased pain. The Y cut is also primarily going to be used for support, increased proprioception, and pain reduction. The fan tape is a cut that will only be used when we're trying to decrease inflammation, which is also going to be increase in lymphatic flow and increase in blood flow. So now I'd like to give you some general tips on um, cutting the tape. So basically when we're cutting the tape, we can round the edges, which you'll see in the videos that I do. And the reason that I round these is because it just helps it prevent from sticking on clothing or a blanket that you might be putting on a horse or you know anything that a dog might be rubbing up against. It's going to help it decrease the chance of it coming off on something. You're also going to want to use non-stick scissors to cut the tape because conventional scissors will become gummed up quickly and it will be difficult to cut the tape with them. You can find non-stick or Teflon coated scissors in the craft department of most stores. So now we're going to run through some contraindications of taping. And it's important to know the contraindications because there are some instances where kinesiology tape may make the situation worse and we're going to run through those right now. The first contraindication would be infection. Since kinesiology tape improves blood circulation, it could possibly aid in the spread of the infection, so we want to avoid taping over any infected areas. The second contraindication would be open wounds. Some open wounds may need medical attention, um, and we want to just avoid taping directly over any kind of open wound. The next contraindication would be malignant cancer. Um, again, due to the increased blood and lymph flow that occurs when kinesio tape is applied, it could possibly spread cancer. So we want to make sure that we do not tape over any areas where there are malignant cancers present. The next contraindication is advanced kidney disease. Um, since the tape does enable the body to move fluids more so, the body may not be able to handle the movement of fluids in that quantity when advanced kidney disease is present. So we want to just use caution when taping a person and animal with advanced kidney disease. 
Congestive heart failure, similar to advanced kidney disease, um, the individual may not be able to handle the movement of fluids in the body, so we want to use caution um, if we're taping a person or an animal with congestive heart failure. The next contraindication would be taping over a deep vein thrombosis. This actually applies to all blood clots, even superficial ones, but when you tape over a deep vein thrombosis or other blood clots, it, they could become dislodged, and a dislodged clot could lead to heart attack, a stroke, or other issues. So obviously taping over a clot could be extremely dangerous and life-threatening, so we want to avoid doing so. For those who are not aware of what a blood clot may present like, um, Basically, the signs of a blood clot are redness, swelling, heat, and painful, especially when pressure is applied directly over it. So those are the contraindi contraindications. Now we're just going to go over some scenarios where you may want to use caution. Um, you could still use tape in these scenarios, but you just want to be cautious and consult with the animal's veterinarian or the person's medical doctor before taping. The first example of when you would want to use caution is when you're taping over a fracture. Depending on the type and location of the break, the fracture may have associated blood clots, circulation damage, or other soft tissue injuries. So you always want to consult with the doctor before taping over a fracture. The next scenario that you would want to use caution in is with surgical wounds. Kinesiology tape can help speed up the rate of healing after surgery and reduce scar tissue formation, but one should always consult with the doctor before taping over sutures or staples to make sure that there are no contraindications present. So the last scenario that you would want to use caution with would be any kind of neurological condition. While kinesiology tape can often improve nerve signals, um, a person or an animal that is experiencing a symptoms associated with neurological disease like hyper or hypo reflexes, in, in coordination or other symptoms, you always want to seek medical advice before taping because it could be a very severe illness that they're experiencing. So you want to know what you're dealing with before you use the tape. So now what I'd like you to do if you have some tape on hand is to take out the tape and practice cutting the different cuts, the I, X, Y, and fan. And there's actually a little video that's going to come up next where I'm going to walk you through all of those. So get your tape ready to go and your scissors, and uh, when you get to the next video, we will go through the cuttings together.